Hey everybody, John Spaulding, June NBC, Cuyahoga County, and we have Candace Johnson with us tonight. How are you? I'm doing well. How are you? Good, thank you. Thanks for the interview. Uh, we're backstage at the Connected Web Series photo shoot, and so tell us a little bit about your character. What's your character's name and maybe some persona, a little bit of background. Okay, my character in the Connected is named Tiana Mixon. She's a real estate agent that also cooks the books for the Boss Kings, so she's a very integral part in the show. I'm also the head writer on the show as well. Gotcha. Now, how long uh, have you been involved with the project? Um, I've been involved with the project since maybe October, so like September, October. Uh, do you feel... Uh, um do you feel that being a head writer for the show will allow your character to have a little longevity? Yeah, that, that always helps <laughs> because our show, it's, it's you never know what could happen to a character. So a little bit of job security is awesome. And also, don't make Candace mad. <laughs> exactly, because <laughs> you never know you might be that. So tell us a little bit about um, your... Uh, your presence in the Cleveland acting community. What other types of projects have you done and, and how did you get started? Um, I got started when I started going to Ohio Media School. I just graduated from there recently. Um, I'm currently working with Voodoo Films and we're making a underground hip hop documentary starring Jay Smooth, DJ Cochise, DJ Squirt. It's all about the, how the Cleveland hip hop scene got started. I was actually in a film yesterday that debuted um, at the Atlas Theater on Lakeshore. It's called Running with the Angels by Brad Slitt and Tim Novarty. It's a, a film about heroin addiction and a man that loses everything. It was an amazing film. I'm still a little bit shaken up from the movie wow. yesterday. It was it was an amazing film. That's really cool. Uh, your the hip hop documentary for Cleveland. Mm -hmm. um, are you guys going and also interviewing past yes. Cleveland? Mm -hmm. that's, rappers and that's the majority of the people that we're interviewing we're interviewing all the people that left their mark in Cleveland and what they're trying to do and leave their mark on a future generation so it, it's been really awesome to see how hip-hop really started Chuck D is a part of the film even Chuck D said that freestyling started in Cleveland they didn't what? know what they were did he say that on camera he actually said that on camera and yes. in the film People didn't. And people in Cleveland just thought rapping was freestyling. They just thought it came off the top of your head. They mm -hmm. didn't know people were at home writing it. So when they found out, like that was a whole new thing. They was like, "Oh, we didn't know that. We've been ra rapping that way." So Cleveland really has its its foot in hip hop, and and it's time that that gets put out there. So I'm glad to showcase that. Thank you. That yeah, before. that's awesome. That's amazing stuff. Well, you guys can come on June NBC Cuyahoga County anytime to talk about that project. Absolutely, so, we um, definitely will. Anything else as far as stuff that you're working on, or like maybe when you're get, when you're looking at roles, what's a role that you really look to say I, I want to go and throw my name in the hat for that type of role? Um, there. I wish that there were more um, horror projects that aren't so paranormal based and, and movies that kind of thrive upon mental illness because I've noticed horror movies have kind of moved in that genre. If you've noticed horror movies as of late have kind of taken advantage of people's mental illness and as a person with depression and anxiety, that's not really something I would go towards. But I do love horror movies, especially ones from my generation like Freddy's and the Michael Myers stuff like the stuff Rob Zombie does I absolutely love it so I wish I could find more projects like that but I'm also building a podcast channel nice. in, in the upcoming weeks so um, if anyone knows Mark Watts he's won the Ohio Hip Hop Award host for the year for the past three years he's going to have a show with me on my podcast so it's, it's cool and what are you guys going to talk about um, pretty much everything, any and everything we can. Try to enlighten people, bring some joy, bring some levity, bring some, some intelligence in, into the community, bring more uh, community togetherness, showcase uh, the smaller artists, the smaller shows that are out The here. smaller independent broadcasters. Absolutely. Not just the same five people in Cleveland that get nominated for everything. There's a much larger broadcasting circle in Cleveland than what gets credit. So I would like to start showcasing all these great little people that we have in Cleveland because we've got some amazing people here. That's awesome. Thanks, Candace. Candace Johnson, what's your character's name one more time? Tiana Mixon. Tiana Mixon from the Connected Web Series. Thank you. Thanks, everybody. Follow me, CandyBaby7714 on IG.
So good, so good with those.